Hello again, everyone. Um, good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the world. And thank you for joining us for the September edition of Dragon Trails monthly webinar series. This month, we'll be focusing on digital B2B marketing solutions for the travel industry. And we'll be presenting together with our partner, Trapro Mobile. My name is Sienna, and I'm communications manager for Dragon Trail Interactive. Before we launch into the presentations today, I'll just run through a short introduction to how the webinar will run today um, and introduce you to today's speakers as well. So on the agenda today, we'll first look at B2B marketing for the Chinese outbound travel industry and some digital solutions that have been developed by Dragon Trail Interactive to facilitate that. Then we'll take a step back and take a look at a more global travel marketing solution look from Travpro Mobile. And then we'll finish up finally with a Q&A session. So please feel free to send in your questions at any time during the presentation when you think of them. Um, but we ask that you please do that by using the Q&A button, which you should see on your Zoom toolbar. By using the Q&A button as opposed to asking us questions through the chat, it helps us to keep track of the questions and make sure that we can answer them all at the end of the webinar. I should also note that following the webinar, we will be sending all attendees a copy of the presentation as well as a link to a recording of the presentation if you'd like to review it. So that should be ready in the next couple of days to send out to everybody. Today we have two speakers with us. Uh, first, CEO and co-founder of Dragon Trail Interactive, George Tao, as well as CEO and founder of Pro Mobile, Jonathan Cooper. Both of our speakers have significant experience with digital startups and B2B online training and distribution programs, as well as experience working with travel brands from all around the world. For those of you who might be joining our webinars for the first time and are unfamiliar with Dragon Trail Interactive, we're a digital marketing and solutions agency that focuses exclusively on Chinese outbound tourism. We're headquartered in China and have international offices in the UK and the US as well. We have over 60 clients on six continents, covering different industry verticals from destinations and hotels to cruise lines, airlines, and attractions. We also do some of our work in partnership with um, Trapro Mobile, a B2B2C mobile software company that provides digital solutions for training, sales, and rewards around the world. And I think Jonathan will go over more detail about what Trapro Mobile does during his part of the presentation. <clears throat> So at this point, I'll hand over to George from Dragon Trail Interactive to talk about the travel trade marketing in China. All right. Thank you, Sienna. Good morning. Good evening. Uh, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Uh, Sienna, can we go to the next slide? All right. So um, as Sienna has mentioned, we're a digital marketing agency. In a typical uh, engagement at the very beginning, we would normally use something like this as a planning tool to look at what to do for our clients in China on the consumer side, on the travel trade side. And the idea of using something like this, listing all the possible activities you can do in China, is really to make sure we don't lose sight of one element versus the other. For example, if we focus too much on consumer inspiration and lose sight of the travel trade, uh, partnership marketing side of things, uh, we might not be able to achieve our goals of actually driving uh, a traffic to our destination or driving consumers uh, to our brands because they have no way uh, to actually buy. Uh, or you have, they have no way to find you know, the quality products. They, 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 they can uh, book and buy. Uh, next slide, please. So the uh, travel trade uh, partners work uh, today in China, uh, almost like the way they live today. So on a very high level, these are, these are some top uh, digital trends in China. Uh, first of all, uh, in tier one cities in China, we've gone mostly uh, cashless. Uh, people are paying for everything from their rent to utilities to restaurant bills to renting a bike and everything else 
using our mobile phone. And they're doing, uh, you know, a lot more uh, on our mobile phone uh, in China. If there is a mobile first market in the world today, it will be uh, right here uh, in China. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are more people who access the internet on their mobile phone than on the PC. Uh, and they not only consume media uh, and uh, use the mobile phone as a communication tool, they also use the mobile phone in their uh, offline shopping behavior, uh, in, in something we call new retail uh, in China. If you go to some of the convenience stores, you go to some of the new uh, grocery stores and even department stores, if you don't take out your phone, you can't even do anything. Uh, you know, you have to use your phone to check inventory, you have to use your phone uh, to check pricing, you use your phone to check out. So this is the way uh, your travel trade partners leave today in China. And they're also increasingly working this way. So if you stay in the PC world, you say, I still just give you, you know, your training, I give you your uh, product intro introductions, I do your uh, webinars and everything on, on PC, uh, you're going to lose more and more uh, of these partners because they don't have the patience uh, for uh, those kind of old uh, ways of communicating with them. Uh, next slide, please. And the competition for attention and, and traffic is also extremely fierce uh, in this market. Uh, a lot of the traffic and attention are gravitating towards the head of the curve. There are a lot of professional content production companies that are getting all the traffic. You also have uh, a large OTAs that are getting all the traffic. Uh, as a, a travel brand, it's uh, getting really and really difficult to get the attention of consumers as well as your uh, uh, travel trade partners. So to address these issues, one is they're uh, increasingly uh, used to working on their uh, mobile environment. And the second is it's really difficult to reach them and really get their attention. Um, we have come up with uh, you know, some solutions to help our clients reach the uh, travel trade partners in China. And that is built primarily on WeChat. So why do we uh, use WeChat? First of all, this is a, a super app, uh, as we call it. It has over a, mil a billion uh, monthly active users. And, uh, you know, and uh, about half of the users would spend more than two hours within this app doing many, many different things. It's a combination of, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, WeChat, is a combination of Facebook, uh, 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 Twitter, a line, uh, and a bunch of other things that uh, may not exist in the Western uh, uh, internet space. Um, there are uh, many, many brands who are operating uh, within WeChat already. So your partners are really used to interacting with their partners uh, on this platform. So why do we you know, uh, use WeChat for uh, B2B, B2B marketing? Uh, it's very obvious, we want to bring our content we want to bring our communication channels uh, close to them. We want them to be able to uh, uh, talk to us in a way they're, they're very used to. We also want to uh, give them tools that uh, they're you know, using every day, uh, writing their super app. Can we go to the next slide? So um, as one of the solutions of communicating to uh, the Chinese travel trade, we have created something called a China Travel Academy. So this is basically a travel agent training and certification uh, platform, uh, but it is completely built on, on the WeChat platform. And it works uh, like a, um, a Kindle, if you will. So you know, if you imagine on a PC, uh, a training platform, someone would have to use their email address or username and password to log in on a WeChat-based solution. They just open uh, the, this uh, mini uh, program and they drop themselves right into the training uh, content uh, where they left off the last time without ever having to, you know, except for the first time they register for the course, uh, they don't ever have to use their username and password again. So this is very, very convenient. If they have five minutes on the train, 
uh, to work. If they have, you know, five minutes during uh, a lunch break, they can, uh, you know, take a lesson uh, and, and take the quiz and, and make some progress. So this is the, the idea of, you know, one way of doing the, the traditional uh, PC-based uh, training on, on, on WeChat. And as a matter of fact, we have already attracted over 28,000 verified travel agents uh, to the uh, China Travel Academy uh, a platform. And these are people, we have their WeChat contact, we have their uh, cell phone numbers, we have their email address and all their uh, uh, professional uh, contact information. Uh, and and uh, this is basically your uh, uh, travel trade uh, marketing community. You can, uh, we can help you reach into this community uh, to get them trained, to get them certified, and to keep them updated. Uh, can we go to the next slide? So if training and certification is a once a year activity uh, for you, uh, road shows you probably will do uh, a lot more often. Uh, but you know, coming to China, all the way to China, uh, doing road shows could be expensive. So for most of you, you are still doing road shows maybe um, once or twice a year. But your uh, travel trade partners expect more frequent uh, updates from you. They, 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 they want to get trained and certified. Uh, they want to meet you face to face at these uh, road shows. But they also want to get you know, product updates, uh, uh, policy changes, what's new in your destination. Uh, give them more ammunition they can use to help you attract uh, consumers. To address that issue, to really complement the, the offline uh, roadshows, we have created something called uh, CTA Live, China Travel Academy Live. And this is really a WeChat-based online uh, roadshow uh, platform. Uh, as you do in a physical roadshow, you start with uh, a presentation to uh, uh, scores of agents, you, uh, you know, somewhere between 30 to 100 to uh, 200 agents listening to your uh, presentation. Uh, let's say if you do a presentation for uh, 30 minutes, and after that, you can follow uh, with a Q&A. This is, you know, everybody uh, asking questions that you can answer to uh, in a group setting. Uh, you can consider that as a, as a group chat. The presentation will be very similar to what we're doing right now. Uh, it is a basically a WeChat-based uh, 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 webinar. Uh, but after the presentation and the Q&A, and if there are more people who are uh, interested in getting to know more about your product, about your brand, uh, they can set, uh, set up meeting times, one-on-one -on -one meetings with you. Uh, again, when the time comes, you guys can get onto uh, uh, WeChat on, uh, on the China side. For you, you can get on the PC or using one of our apps, and you can talk, uh, you know, for uh, as if you are doing the one-on-one -on -one session during a physical roadshow. So this matches very closely to what you do in an in a offline roadshow, but this will significantly reduce your uh, uh, cost. Uh, so you can do this more often, you know, in addition to doing one or two uh, roadshows a year, uh, you can, you know, do monthly updates. As a matter of fact, some of the NTOs, in China are using CTA Live uh, to do monthly updates to their uh, travel agency uh, community already. So this is a, a tool we have also created uh, for you. If you combine China Travel Academy and CTA Live, and you, you pretty much have a, you know, a, a fairly complete communication and partner relationship management uh, platform at your disposal. Um, can we go to the next slide? Obviously, you know, when you're communicating with your partners, um, uh, when you're training them, certifying them, when you're managing the relationships, you have, you have always to, you know, to balance, you know, the best possible localized user experience versus a uh, unified uh, global management. You know, we can help you deliver the best possible user experience. It's very easy to use. It's very easy to discover uh, because people can share within uh, WeChat and all their colleagues and you know, uh, their friends in the, in the travel trade community will find, uh, find out about your training program, about your 
live uh, webinar and roadshow programs very easily. It's also very convenient, you know, uh, for the users to, uh, to use your uh, platform. That uh, fast access is actually uh, something that's quite difficult to achieve with a, uh, a global uh, a platform. Uh, that's something uh, Jonathan might uh, get into uh, a little bit more. But, you know, we can help you deliver the best user experience. But for a lot of uh, brands, DMOs, um, NTOs, uh, cruise companies, airlines, they also want to have centralized uh, control on the content by using a centralized CMS, uh, uh, using a centralized learning management system, and also they want to have consistent analytics across markets. Um, so China, you know, although some of the internet landscape is different, the way, um, uh, you know, people access the internet might be different from other markets, but, but as, you know, part of your management practice, you want all the analytics, analytics to be consistent, right? So uh, that's something, you know, a lot of you wants to do. And also um, when it comes to the relationship management, with your travel trade partners, you sometimes also want to integrate all your contacts um, in the China travel trade into your global uh, trade uh, CRM uh, platform or your you know, global database of your uh, travel trade uh, contacts. So that's a, you know, a challenge a lot of our clients are, uh, have been facing. You know, they want the best user experience in China, but they also want you know, a unified uh, management. You know, how do we uh, deliver, you know, the, the, the best uh, uh, of both worlds? And this is where um, we got into a, a partnership with uh, uh, Trot Pro. Uh, Trot Pro, uh, Pro uh, Jonathan will uh, give you a lot more introduction on what they do on the B2B2C solution. They provide also on, uh, on mobile, but they also provide uh, a global platform uh, for sales enablement, which covers uh, training and uh, sales tracking and incentives and things like that. So the, the way the partnership uh, works is we help deliver the localized user experience and we actually send all the user analytics and all the uh, user uh, database uh, information back into the global platform that TravPro uh, uh, manages. So you can use uh, the Trap Pro dashboard to manage, you know, the, the analytics, you can manage uh, content, you can manage users um, in a global unified uh, uh, fashion, but you also have the comfort of knowing that all your Chinese travel trade partners are, you know, having the best user experience communicating with you and using your uh, 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 training and uh, uh, roadshow uh, platforms. So with that, I'm going to hand over to uh, Jonathan to talk more about this uh, unified uh, global solution. Thank you, George, very much. That's excellent information. You said it really well at, at, at the end. I look forward to, um, to jumping in. I'm just going to share my screen here real quick. All right. Excellent. Everyone can see. So uh, good morning and evening to everyone. Obviously, um, my name is Jonathan Cooper from Trav Pro. We are a global B2B software solution company. And, you know, for us and what we do for our clients, reaching China is critical. But as George spoke to, it needs to be done very delicately and specifically um, and in a way that is, is very hard um, to do well um, anywhere else. So although it's critically important for most all of our current clients, it is one piece to a larger global strategy and the united or unified management that George spoke to is critical for most of our clients, which is exactly why we got together with Dragon Trail and partnered to introduce a really innovative way to train um, the travel trade across the globe in a very seamless and simplified manner. Currently, our largest deployment um, in this partnership is with Visit California. They have their STAR program in 17 markets, 10 languages. China is, one, is their number one market, so of critical importance. 
And initially we could not do that well on our own from over here. I'll go into it uh, a little bit more. Um, but now with this partnership with TravPro, you gain a manageable global footprint where no feeder market, market is out of reach. It's essentially a one to many solution. Um, before we jump into that, let me provide just a little brief background. Started the company four years ago. Um, we're split between Nijmegen in the Netherlands and, the U and throughout the US. It's a team of about um, 20 of us with most of the coding, design, et cetera, happening over in Europe. Most of the account stuff happening here in the US. When we started, we really, and, and one of um, you know, the, the, the reasons why the partnership with Dragon Trail um, works so well is because we jumped out decidedly as a mobile first um, platform. We were not interested in choosing or guessing what device a seller preferred. We put the sales and brand intelligence everywhere for the advisors and professionals um, and translate it into what we call just-in-time sales intelligence so that they can always be the expert from any device, anywhere. This is what we call universal rep readiness. Um, as well, rewards and incentives to keep the seller's attention. We call that surprise and delight um, so that you can you know, pat them along the back and, and, and help reward them for their sales efforts along the way. Last couple of years, we've uh, stood up to the competition with Adrian Awards, Magellan Awards, EMMAs, um, and the like. Our clients range from, um, mo uh, we started in destination, but branching deeply into the tour, cruise, um, and accommodations space. So here's what we've done for these folks. We've essentially rewired the B2B over here. Um, and that really is a combination of, of a couple of things. And the core and the foundation is the award-winning sales training platforms to help share this brand intelligence and transfer it most effectively. Times are different today. 15 years ago, 77% of people preferred to read some, uh, to learn something new. Now only 13% do. So you have to include video, you have to include peers, you have to change the content, make it more interesting and inspiring, and as well, make it accessible during these mobile moments that George spoke about before. People don't have an hour to set aside for training. It's happening in 10, 15 minute um, spurts throughout the day. And more importantly, we're the only company in the world who mastering how to marry training with the science of sales enablement. Our product to support it is called the Sales Companion, and it essentially picks up where the training leaves off. Everyone is impacted by Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve. We will forget 75% of what we learned within 48 hours unless we can revisit it. And sales enablement essentially helps with retention. And then once you've mastered the information, lower the, 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 the friction and, and the effort to put it out there and promote and then have tools to close at a higher rate. So sales enablement is a really important part of not just training salespeople, but if the overall strategy is to activate more sales, it goes beyond training for sure. So um, in terms of trends, I wanna be able to provide a little bit of what we're seeing here. Um, mobile usage, certainly not what they're experiencing um, over in Georgia's world and then China in the 90 percentiles, but excluding China in our system, everywhere else across the world, and we're operating um, in 40 some countries right now, we are seeing a blended average of about 71% of people um, primarily accessing mobile versus web, depending on what market. I think um, 55% might be the, the lowest, ranges up to 85%. The, in our market, there's been um, a lot of strength in the last couple of years on the B2B side. The travel advisors were, have been you know, going to be put out of business by the OTAs for a decade, et cetera. Not exactly the case. In fact, the value of, ad, um, of B2B and travel advisors and agents is over-indexing, particularly in luxury. And a lot of it has to do with millennials. Um, the portrait of the American Traveler recently came out. It is put out by MMGY. And 
big area uh, of interest in millennials. And by 2020, they'll be the largest demographic. And they have 30 years of travel ahead of them. You can look at the graph. They are over-indexing Xers and boomers, um, not only in spend per, um, per vacation, but the number of vacations as well. So we put out a lot of content on millennials. Um, we are a, play, a platform that is designed to attract millennials. Um, so the, the combination there makes a lot of uh, sense for our clients as well. Want to jump into really just a couple of quick key points of difference with what we do. Most of our clients have come to us with the current method being the brick by brick, brick approach. Um, they move into a country, they form a relationship with a partner that can deliver training and on the ground um, uh, strategies for them and they build that. Then they move on to another country, et cetera, and start the process all over again. It is pretty laborious. What we provide is a one-to-many approach um, and particularly now truly global with the Dragon Trail, Trail partnership, meaning that we can have as George talked about, a singular content management system, a singular reporting and, and analytics dashboard to monitor, optimize, and really navigate the success of these programs from. And we have the strength and, and the experience to get you there. No market is out of reach. Um, no seller is out of reach. So think about how simplified that makes everything in terms of executing a global strategy internally. <clears throat> what we provide is a cutting edge platform that is elite training, but sales enablement. It is everywhere. It is web, but it is also native apps for iOS and Android, tablets and phone. There's really very little friction to accessing the information anytime, anywhere. We provide it in any language, any market, not just translation, but it is um, done through trans creation, meaning localized for each market. The reporting, the content management also has parent-child relationships. So the so corporate can see everything and touch everything, but your individual markets will just see their version of the solution, be able to do content management updates, et cetera. Also see the reporting that speaks to their specific market. Again, Translation is, is not adequate enough, so we go above and beyond, and everyone we work with um, gets put into a language lab where it really is transcreation, a linguist on the ground being able to really take from a B2B standpoint and, and, and from a professional standpoint the content and, and put it into market so that it is um, well used. Now, the big win again is for each of these markets to be able to control it themselves, to be able to monitor it themselves. Um, a lot of success, some of the clients that we share in common right now and are doing this with are, are Visit California with the STAR program, um, Prom Peru, Los Angeles. We're launching Visit Florida, the True Caribbean program. We have Globus and some of our other um, tour operators starting to do uh, more global work. So. Transcreation, translation, very important. Here's a couple of um, shots of what it would look like. Same exact platform so that it can be taught to everyone in your world simply. Unlimited markets. Um, this is now heading towards 20 markets. And then this is where the partnership comes in. We, um, as soon as you get to the China version here, you are um, really, we were at, at, at a very big disadvantage trying to put up websites on dot, you know, dot CN websites, et cetera. And, and realistically, what we quickly realized two, three years ago, and what we preach over here is if you're not on, on WeChat, you don't exist. And we didn't really exist well over there, um, which is why, you know, George and I got together, tried to figure this out, super impressed with the way they handled um, Things in that market mirrored the strategy we have for the rest of the world. Um, and so this is the California Star program to the left, and you'll see the WeChat variation to the right. So here's where you'd start the program. This is our training, training to the right on WeChat. 
you can see it plays out very similarly, which allows our client to maintain consistent content across all of, all of the markets, be able to update them. Um, our questions even are a little bit different. We don't try to pile on 30 multiple choice questions at the end where everything is D all the above because you want to reinforce in 10 minute modules, you're only hitting on four or five key pillars. You're able to get a little bit more creative with maps, slide bars, lock dials to rotate, a um, little bit more fun. And George and his team were even able to mimic that in the environment. Here's a flipboard that we use, ends up in WeChat. So in terms of the product and the program, um, super efficient. Um, the back end, the content management, a little bit about that, where it really is as easy as a WordPress arrangement. Um, it's proprietary, but you can come in and on the fly change any content, images, swap out videos, swap out brochures, any of the media assets can be um, updated in real time. You hit publish, it's obviously changed immediately on web, but as well on app without having to update the app from the app store. We have a, the app is constantly looking for an external feed with changes in it and it happens automatically. That's super powerful. You don't wanna have spend time training um, sellers on old information or bad information. And when they are out there fighting for your sales cause, you want them to have the best sales assets um, at their disposal. Now, ultimately, you wanna know what your training activities are, but because we also do sales enablement, we can tie together uh, a bigger picture for you. I may have started training on a certain date and finished it, but we'll also know after training, how much time did I spend in retention? What am I viewing? What videos, what brochures am I viewing and sharing? Um, being able to rank them, et cetera. Downloads, how much time am I spending in retention and review? Um, total toolbox clicks, et cetera. So a big opportunity to learn an awful lot more about your sellers from our clients. Um, and we're able to get this information, as George alluded to, um, right back from their system as well. So in terms of a unified management, come up into your dashboard, see the whole world, click into your separate markets, um, and, and really be able to have a, a much greater handle on not just who's training with you, but who's actively selling over longer periods of time. You don't invest in training um, to hope that you get um, sales for weeks and months. You're, you're investing into this seller to have a lifetime or years of, of sales activity and the sales enablement element allows that to you know, deliver a very strong ROI. So in summary, this partnership, um, works supremely for most folks that have a global strategy, regardless if you're coming from North America and trying to get into China or coming from China or somewhere else and trying to get into North America, not just training, but enablement um, and really um, a world-class elite program that allows you to move beyond training as a one-time exercise and really um, more of a continual learning path. And with that, I will turn back over to Sienna, I believe. And we can open it up to questions. I appreciate it, um, Sienna and George, for the opportunity to uh, share this time with you, uh, telling the story. Uh, thanks very much, Jonathan, and uh, thanks for the slide too. Uh, I guess I'll just leave this one up. <laughs> I had my own version, but um, but this is the slide I was going to show anyway. So thank you very much to Jonathan and George for your presentations today. Uh, right before we move on to the Q&A section of the webinar, I'd like to first introduce next month's webinar from Dragon Trail. Uh, which will focus on reputation management for Chinese outbound tourism. As usual, that will be held on the third Wednesday of the month, so that's the 17th of October this, um, this year, and we'll also have two sessions 
um, to reach people in multiple time zones. So you can sign up for either of those sessions right now on our website um, on the link below. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be sharing the presentation with all attendees today. So you'll have the link for that then too. So during that webinar, we'll look at some of the first steps that you need to take uh, when starting out with Chinese tourism marketing and how to find out what Chinese travelers are saying about you. We'll have a guide to some of the most important Chinese travel review websites, as well as some additional free online tools to tell you about that you can use to find out more about your destination um, or brand's image in China. Um, so at this point, we'll open it up to the Q&A. Um, if you have uh, questions, you can ask them uh, by using the Q&A button. Um, I, first of all, I might like to ask a question um, either of, of Jonathan or Jonathan and George together. When you talk about localizing some of the content, um, particularly you said that you might have different questions for different markets. Could you give a specific example of how uh, perhaps the content or the questions that are asked in a module might be different for the Chinese market compared to another one of the markets? Sure, I can jump in um, first. In terms of, um, so we don't try to assume that for a global strategy, the way you sell a destination or a product, et cetera, is the same in all markets. There are certain, you know, drivers, cultural, et cetera, that, that make the story a little bit different. So our system allows for whether it's the training, whether it's, you know, the way particular things are presented or questions in the training might be asked um, are able to be localized really to to that environment there might also be content units that don't really apply um, for example um, california star there are some markets where there are not a lot of people rushing to california for the professional sports teams because they're not concerned with football you know u.s football and baseball etc um, but in other markets, it's really big. So localizing might even leave the sports unit, the, the um, sports travel unit out of the program in certain markets versus the others, as well as your sales collateral. Obviously, um, it might be different in other markets. Yes, for sure. I think the level of uh, familiarity of a particular destination is uh, obviously quite different from market to market. You know, take Peru, for example. A lot of the uh, US-based uh, 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 travel agents will be probably a lot more familiar about Peru than uh, Chinese uh, travel agents. So when you look at developing, you know, content for the US market, you probably want to delve a, a bit deeper into, you know, some of the uh, uh, unique experiences, some of the things that are off the beaten path. But when you come to China, maybe initially you have to cover just, you know, the high level uh, experiences instead of jumping right into the off the beaten path uh, uh, elements. So a lot of those things ha has to be taken into consideration when you uh, develop the content. And uh, in addition to the content, as we have articulated, obviously, obviously the usability of the platform is also uh, quite important. Uh, you know, you have uh, uh, very, very relevant content, uh, you know, beautifully localized for a particular market, but, you know, the platform is not very usable in that market, then you won't be able to achieve your goals. So I think that's why these, you know, uh, WeChat-based solution for China and, you know, uh, mobile uh, solutions for other markets will work out for this, you know, global coverage. Thank you very much. Um, we still are open for additional Q&A questions if you think of those, um, but I know sometimes uh, you think of your best questions after the Q&A period has already ended, um, in which case you are very welcome to get in touch with us after the webinar on the screen now. Um, I've got my contact information to share. You can also email communications at dragontrail.com. Um, and also, if you have any questions that are specifically for Trap Pro Mobile, um, you can send those through to me as well, and I, I can pass on their contact details to you.
At this point, I'll also launch a short poll. Um, and if you wouldn't mind filling that out, it would help us to receive feedback about um, things like how you heard about the webinar and what you might like to see from future webinars too. Uh, we've got one question here uh, from Don Nelson in the chat section. Um, uh, and if you do have questions uh, further to this, uh, if you wouldn't mind using the Q&A button, it just makes it uh, a bit easier for us to see and keep track of the questions for later too. Um, so Don asks, um, he's recently launched C-SnapGet, a mobile service enabling travelers to buy locally when traveling. How would you suggest we approach travel agents to offer our service as a benefit? So um, with Don's product, C-Snap Get, um, it allows you know, Chinese travelers that are throughout the US to be able to um, pretty seamlessly um, ship back treasures that they find along the way as they're as they're shopping you know throughout their travels same way for you know u.s travelers heading over um you know to china or any other country is there any best way i guess george to try to introduce a service or any other similar service from from our side into that market that might play well for for your travelers Yes, that's one of the reasons why we use that uh, travel marketing matrix uh, in the beginning of my uh, uh, presentation. I think if you look at uh, even people like um, TripAdvisor with their uh, tours and activities uh, uh, service, uh, in addition to selling directly to consumers, they're also looking at a travel agency uh, uh, program. Um, <clears throat> Because you can only do so much, you know, uh, consumer reaching consumers direct with all the competition for attention and traffic, it can get quite expensive uh, to reach consumers directly. But your product and services, once you get them onto your platform, uh, can become very valuable resources for the travel agencies and all the travel agencies here in China and uh, in other markets, uh, for that matter, will have their own ways of reaching uh, consumers, right? They have their marketing budgets, <clears throat> they have their website, they have their offline events, they do a lot of things to attract their customers. If you make your inventory available to them and you have a, uh, a sales commission program uh, uh, together uh, into a, you know, a travel agency uh, a program, uh, we obviously can help you introduce that to the Chinese travel agencies, uh, especially using something like a CTA Live. We can organize, you know, maybe a few webinars for you to attract, uh, you know, uh, a few hundred agents who will get, at least get to know your products. Once you have their contact information after the, the, the live uh, webinars, uh, you know, they can reach out to you, you can reach out to them uh, for, you know, further kind of partnership uh, negotiations, right? So um, uh, uh, we can definitely help you if that's something you have in mind uh, or that's something you're open to, you know, instead of direct se only selling to consumers direct, you're also open to selling through uh, the travel agency network. George, follow-up question from myself, interested. Um, over here, you know, to get the attention of the B2B, you, you likely have to have some commissionable or, you know, um, uh, type of program. Is it similar over there? 
um, where really it's so noisy that you'd need to, to you know, have some, uh, some sort of formalized program for them to get their attention? You do. Um, I think if, if you want any uh, sustainable <clears throat> effort uh, in the travel agency partnership up front, you do have to put together uh, uh, commissions and other incentive schemes. But if you have some un really unique uh, and uh, exclusive uh, products that y only you have and nobody else uh, has, and uh, and people you know uh, start to hear about it, they go to these travel agencies to ask about these products. Obviously, you know you, you don't have to incentivize anyone. You know you just need to give uh, the travel agents access to those, uh, and they will buy it. But really depends on the you know the the, the products you're selling. Yeah, the value proposition and how much of a benefit and service to them and they're servicing their client is it versus something that they'd be looking to get commission on. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We do see some uh, uh, agents um, using, you know, not the uh, travel agency uh, portal to book uh, hotels, for example. Some of them would just use uh, booking.com because they couldn't find a particular hotel in a particular location. When they go through the booking.com consumer website, uh, they don't get any commission, but they serve their customers. You know, right. they make money from other products they sell. So I think it all depends on the, the product you have. Hope that helps, Don. Great. One further question is if you're just starting the process of uh, doing this B2B kind of marketing, uh, what are the things that you need to consider as you're getting into it? And what are some of the speed bumps that other people may have run into and how can you avoid those? George, you want to run first? You want me? Sure. I, I, I can talk uh, a, little about, a little bit about that first. <clears throat> I think, you know, a travel trade marketing is all about um, relationships. Um, and these relationships need to be maintained over uh, a fairly long period of time. As uh, Jonathan mentioned, this is, you know, could be, uh, you know, lifetime relationships or at least multi-year uh, relationships. <clears throat> but in the very beginning, it's awareness. How do you um, use a reasonably low cost approach to get your message out to the, uh, <clears throat> the biggest possible number of agents uh, in a certain market? Uh, obviously, you know, when, when it comes to China, we can help you uh, uh, do that with, you know, these using these relatively low cost online methods to reach a fairly large audience. But once you reach them, they, they know about you. you. You solve the kind of the awareness problem. You need to start building that relationship. Obviously, training is part of that relationship development. Uh, once they become your product specialist, obviously, they are more committed uh, to promoting your product, to selling your product. But even after that, you need to keep giving them information about uh, your updates about your product, <clears throat> what's new from your market, uh, what's new about your incentive policies and things like that on an ongoing basis. And obviously, <clears throat> once in a while, you have to come and see uh, the most committed partners face-to-face -face in a physical uh, roadshow. Yeah, in terms of, um, and here's the thing, the, both my market and George's market, so big, most of the people come to us, you know, where to start. So um, if we are starting here, for us, you know, it's a software process where once your native language version is done, it's very easy for us to um, transcreate it and roll it into most other um, markets. The hiccup and the biggest speed bump we had initially was the China market and how to do it as well as we do the rest of the world, um, which is you know ultimately why we're here today and the importance of of sharing this unique partnership with everyone um, because it really to do it on your own is a very difficult proposition and ultimately you'd need some sort of of partnership like this to be able to execute a seamless global strategy, for sure. Great, thanks, Jonathan and George. 
Um, in terms of communicating with us um, in the future, if you have more questions or want to get in touch to learn more about how you might be able to use Trevor Mobiles or Dragon Trail Interactive's products, um, my contact information is on the screen now and we will also be sending out a follow-up email uh, with a copy of today's presentation and a video link and we'll include the contact information for Dragon Trail and for Trav Pro Mobile in that email as well so you'll have everything there. Um, so I think at this point I'd like to say thank you very much uh, to everyone who attended as well as to our two speakers today. Um, and we'll hope to see you at next month's webinar. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Sienna. Thanks, George. Thanks, Jonathan. You will. Bye. Bye-bye.